Good morning, everyone. Uh, got up this morning having car issues. Uh, I have a 2007 Chevy Silverado. As you can see, um, it's very easy to take apart your truck if you know what you're doing. Uh, really, very minimal tools was required. Um, here this morning, I, I took apart my dash real quick. Took the cover off. I took the cover off the bottom. It's three bolts. Everything falls off and everything just pulls off. So once I uh, uh, pulled apart the casing, uh, my steering, my shifter was stuck in park. I took off these three bolts here because I couldn't get it out. And this is what locks your uh, steering wheel. I took these three screws out so my shifter falls down. I also released uh, the interlock shift solenoid which is this little mechanism right here that often uh, locks your, this thing controls your shifter. If this goes bad, your shifter won't go into gear. But I, in my case, it was not this problem that caused this issue. Um, so I had to take the releasing mechanisms off the vehicle so that I can move this shifter. But what I found on mine, is I grab the screwdriver here, the screwdriver, and I lifted up the shifter, and I popped in the spring here, so that my shifter moves. And that's what I found is wrong with my truck. A lot of people recommend replacing this part, but I recommend that you check the spring first. Make sure the spring is pushed all the way back, because mine was sticking out. So it wasn't letting the shifter engage. So this is what I found out to be my problem. Uh, I'm not too sure if they saw this part. But I'm going to go and attempt to get a new spring. So it doesn't pop out on me again. And I don't have this problem. But uh, that's, a, that's a video for you guys. Hopefully it helps you if you're having a shifter problem with your Silverado. It's a very easy fix.